Erin here from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with a trick you can do without being a magician. Sometimes you see magicians pull the tablecloth out from under the dishes, but you don't have to have magic, you just have to have physics. So I have a regular table setting with forks, knife, spoon, and I just need to overcome the force of friction that tends to drag everything along. If I can go fast enough to overcome friction and not catch things up on the tablecloth, then we can keep everything nice and in place. So let's try this here. Ah, pretty good. So, oh, you can see the forks and spoon got flipped, and that's because there's some wrinkles in the tablecloth. So to practice, you don't want to start with, with glass and metal. Start out with a plastic cup. Um, in the plastic cup, add some weight to it, we use dominoes, and the dominoes add inertia. So inertia goes along with mass, and that's what keeps an object at rest, staying at rest. It keeps it from moving, it makes it harder to move. It also adds weight and adds friction, but if you keep the dominoes at, towards the bottom of the cup, it can keep it from tipping over because it's bottom heavy instead of top heavy. The tablecloth you can use, it can be one of the disposable plastic ones is fine, or this one we cut in half because you don't want the hem on it. You want it to be have at least one edge that doesn't have a hem because the hem can catch the tablecloth. It can catch the cup. Then you smooth it out, make sure it's as wrinkle-free as possible. Put the cup there. The closer to the edge, the easier it is when you're starting out. And then you'll pull down. So if you pull down, you're less likely to catch the tablecloth and have it bunch up. One, two, three, four. Like that. So, uh, practice trying different kinds of cups. See if adding the dominoes really does make a difference. And then when you get really good, then you can maybe try using a glass cup.